Away from the rush of tourists, the island of Rügen offers many interesting historic and landscape features and also unique characteristics. For example, the smallest ferry in Germany. The rowing ferry commutes between the jetties of Babe and Moritzdorf and is operated by muscle power. Characteristic for the island of Rügen are the many thatched cottages and small medieval village churches. The history of the people of Rügen, its fishermen and farmers is impressively documented with many exhibits at the Mönchguter Museum. It is naturally very important to us at the Mönchguter Museum that our houses remain so preserved as they are. We also have the traditional dwellings. For example, this farm was first documented in 1774. I find it really interesting. I like folklore museums very much in general and have visited several across Europe while we were traveling because it is a window to the past. The colonialists here were mainly Slaws and Danes, but also primarily Westphalians and Lower Saxons, who first made the land more arable, then built houses, and that is why later this type of Lower Saxons house were built here. Rügen's history underwent frequent changes. The island belonged alternatively to Denmark and the Kingdom of Sweden, to then again fell to the Prussians. Today, the many castles, parks and manor houses bear witness to this interesting and turbulent period. Particularly impressive are the remains of the legendary Jaromarsburg at Cap Arcona. They are witness to Slavic cultural history in the Baltic region. Yes, it is naturally an absolute must to take in the landscape and the embedded architecture, the stately homes, farmhouses, the many villas and spa architecture. That one so to say enjoys the idea of beauty and the aesthetic of the previous centuries. This building is also impressive. 38 meters high, the magnificent central tower of the Jagdschloss Granitz, a hunting chateau nestled in over 1,000 hectares of forest land at the heart of the magnificent natural landscape of southeast Rügen. With over 200,000 visitors annually, the castle is the most frequently visited in Mecklenburg West Pomerania. Prinz Malte zu Putbus had it erected according to the plans of Berlin architect Johann Gottfried Steinmeier in the style of a North Italian Renaissance castle. It was formerly a popular holiday destination for European aristocrats and socialites. It is very interesting, in particular that Schinkel collaborated in the building and the plans and the location is very interesting on the hill here. It is simply fascinating how the building as whole is constructed here. The interior and so far as it can still be traced through the pictures, very nice. One hundred and forty-four meters above sea level after you've climbed the stairs give a panoramic view that has unique characteristics. We look north to the chalk cliffs of Jasmund National Park. We look to the southeast over the Mönchgut with its unique landscape and its jaggedness. It is worth visiting the castle every year and to experience the individual developmental steps of our castle. Discover the island of Rügen in all its facets. Rest and relax, discover and experience. Welcome to your holiday paradise on the Baltic.